your impressions from the first couple of days? Yeah, you know, we got a we got a team that's uh, willing to work, and, and I tell you, it's been exciting watching them. You know, they've been flying around, uh, learning. Uh, you know, we got some guys that we got to get ready to play that hadn't played or uh, that were uh, not a part of spring practice due to injury. So uh, we got some catching up to do there, but it's been exciting uh, watching them practice the two days. Been pretty pleased with uh, carryover from the spring from the returning guys. Absolutely, absolutely, and. Uh, you know, they've had opportunity to get stronger since spring, and you can see that. Uh, Coach Jackson, you know, did a great job with that cycle in the weight room, and uh, it's made a difference already in our football team. How much uh, are you set on a lineup, and how far do you have to go before you know who the 11 guys are you'll start with? Well, you know, it may be game time with, with some of them. You know, there's competition out there, and that's the thing that's, you know, really neat. You know, we got competition at every position. Uh, we're going to play too deep. It doesn't matter. Uh, Obviously, we're going to play the best players, and uh, that's what fall practice is all about, identifying those 11 guys that are going to walk out there and start for us. And, uh, you know, it'll be, you know, well after a couple of scrimmages before we do that. I mean, obviously, there's some ideas that you have, but you let them settle it on the field. Coach, you talked about the injuries last spring and getting some of those guys back that were injured, uh, especially the linebacking core. It seems like that was a big one for you. How have those guys progressed, and how are they playing well on the field? Well, they're, they're, they're doing a good job, but understand this, you know, uh, they've got uh, little or no practice in this scheme uh, in, in the spring. And that's, you know, that's a setback, but you can look at it as a setback or an area that we got to improve. In, and, and certainly that's one of the areas that we're looking to improve in a hurry. Uh, and uh, again, because we've got some, some competition there, that's going to help matters a lot. Coach, going offense versus defense, how much can your defense learn by going against the offense you face in practice every day? Well, I think a, a tremendous amount. Obviously, you know, it's fast paced. Uh, it's not going to get any faster than we're going right now. Uh, you go out and uh, you, you run, you know, 50 plays in, in 30 minutes or less, and, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty fast. So you, you learn that, and as well as the offense. You know, we've got a multiple offense with a lot of talent on it, and, uh, you know, guys that, uh, you know, that coach that offense that know what they're doing. There's no doubt about it. It's a challenge every day. How much has the league changed in terms of offensive schemes since you started? Oh, it's almost 360, to be honest with you. You know, there's a few, there's a few teams that, uh, you know, are still, uh, you know, uh, power football yeah. teams. But and even some of the spread teams, you know, don't don't be mistaken by that. They they still have an element of power football even out of the spread. So, uh, but it's changed a good bit. You know, uh, you know, it's uh, even, uh, you know, I, I I joke about this. You know. Uh, you know, all the head coaches, most of them are offensive guys. So when they get the, a chance to, you know, get rules on the rules committee, you know, they want to, you know, they want to make it uh, lean that way a little bit. So, and, the, and fans want to see a lot of scoring. You know, that's right. uh, that's the thing. And I think if you look at the stats in, in the SEC and around the nation, you see that they've gone up. Uh, and a lot of that has to do with how much the offenses have changed. Having said that, uh, is it still a big priority to stop the run first and foremost? There's no question. And and. You know, we've uh, we've obviously we've massaged our scheme some through the years in, in, in terms of what we needed to do, but you know, the emphasis is still the same, and, and and the principles that we use are still the same. It's very simple. You know, we're going to stop the run with numbers, and we're going to rush the passer with speed. And we got some good speed on the outside to, to help us do that, so we're excited about that. Does that put the DBs on an island sometimes? Oh, there's no doubt. Yeah. You know, and and uh, you know we're going to be man to man, and we're going to pressure a lot, and you know that's you know what we do, and it's no secret. You yeah. know, we've done it for a long time, and uh, it fits what uh, you know what the league is doing yeah. as well. You know, it's uh, many years ago had you know had an opportunity, and you know to to work with David Cutcliffe, and we kind of talked about this, and you could see you know where football, college football mm -hmm. particularly, was going, and. Uh, uh, you look at high school football, and that's all you see. You know, uh, you, you know, 90% of it. So, obviously, it's it's uh, you know it's in college football, and it's here to stay because people want to see it. It's exciting. John, understanding again that a lot of guys weren't around in the spring uh, because of injuries, and of course we know it's obviously very early here. But have you been able to at least get a feel of what you think you have uh, in talent level at linebacker, and uh, at least get an opinion about? Yeah, and and. And, and, and some of that was based on what they did last year. You know, uh, I've, I've watched every every snap that uh, every one of our players played last year. So, you know, you had a little bit of uh, an idea going in, you know, the, of the talent level. And, uh, you know, we've got good talent. There's no question about that. You know, we've got we to gotta gain some experience. And uh, uh, I mentioned this back in the spring. You know, I got to ask what, uh, you know, what, what we were really missing. And, uh, you know, and, and I think the thing I said was a little bit of confidence. Well, their confidence are growing. 
there's no question about that and, and that's the reason you work every day and, and that's what you know coaching is all about as a football coach you want to put a young man in a situation where he can have success success breeds confidence and confidence breeds good football teams yeah i know it doesn't matter at this point you have to play the game but would you prefer quote an easier an opponent to to gain that confidence or do you like the challenge starting right off the bat with your guys well you know you take the challenges as they come yeah. and every game's going to be a challenge you know there's no question about that and and, and certainly playing you know one of the top uh, 20 teams in the country uh, top i'm not sure where they're, they're rated i know they're 15, rated high. 16. yeah and, and and some people have picked them to win the league out there you know they're they're really really good football team and they won a bunch of games you know, each and every year that, that coaching staff has been there so you know it's a challenge but yeah you look forward to it you know you got to be ready to come out of the gate and and uh, I guarantee you this, this this football team will be. The newcomers you got coming in that you didn't see do you feel you're gonna have enough depth do you feel you need one year possibly have a good another recruiting class? Well you know everybody's gonna tell you that you know uh, that they don't have enough you know uh, we've got enough good players to win we got to do a great job of coaching them. We got to do a great job of preparing them, and and there's no question we've got enough talent to win. How do you feel yeah, about the, the new blood that you have in the Daniel Corner? You have several new guys you didn't have in the spring. Uh, your confidence level with that bunch up a little bit? No doubt, absolutely. Uh, you know, and we see some guys coming on even after spring practice. You know, uh, from where they were at spring practice, but. Uh, you know, getting getting a couple guys in there has made that a position that you know right now you know we've we've practiced in shorts for two days we don't play in shorts but you know practicing in shorts you feel pretty good about what you've seen at the corner position. John, has, has, Brent, has what Brandon been able to see about Graham Williams? Obviously, he's, a uh, he, he's yeah he's a very talented young man. We knew that. Uh, he's committed. He's uh, he's a great student. He wants to learn. Uh, he's he is learning, but he's a he's a sponge. He wants to know everything he can about playing the position. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll assure you this, you know, there won't be many guys that will line up at that position that is more talented than him. Now, again, he's got to gain some experience and he's got to gain confidence. And I think, I think he's pretty confident. I, I, you know, he's a confident young man and he believes in himself and he's going to work hard enough to, to, to have a reason to believe in himself. Do you have any early impressions of Daylon Miller? Yeah, you know, he, uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a definitely a talented guy. You know, it's a, it's a different league, and, and, and he's got a he's got a bigger adjustment to make than than uh, uh, than our corner because he's played and he's played and, and played you know winning football in the SEC. Uh, it's always difficult, but uh, you know you see it every year. You know, uh, high school guys come in and they make the transition, and I think uh, I think Dalen is mature enough that he's handling this well, and he knows he's got to work, and and that's part of the transition is him his maturity and, and who he is. So. Uh, certainly, I, I think uh, we're in good shape there. Coach, haven't been on the other sideline and, and watching him in spring, but has Miles Garrett surprised you with any parts of his game? Oh, not really. I, again, uh, you know, uh, I watched every every snap that he played last year. Uh, you know, uh, it's documented. You know, you know, for a freshman to come in and play in this league the way he did last year, you know, the only thing that could hold him back, and, and, and he's not going to let that happen, is if he got satisfied, and I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, matter of fact, I know it won't. A, he's a worker. He's going to do exactly what he's supposed to, to do. He's going to be where he's supposed to be. Uh, you know, it's, uh, he's fun to be on the field with.